from Mike Fillover, senior pastor here at Heritage Presbyterian Church and Wes Martin, the assistant pastor here at Heritage Presbyterian Church. We're here for morning prayer on this Tuesday morning, the 20th of April. I want to say happy birthday to three people. I want to say happy birthday to Roberta Gettle. Roberta! Woo! I hope David treats you good. And also, one of my karate compatriots, Drew Plato. Drew, happy birthday to you. Woo! And also, Michael Ballard down in, in Odessa, Texas. Happy birthday, guys. See, see my newest carving? He's even wishing you happy birthday, too. So there you go. All right. We're going to pray for you all in just a minute. Uh, before we do that, we, we do our readings. And so right now, we're reading through uh, some of the hymns in the Trinity Hymnal. And then we'll read a Bible portion. So this is hymn 128, God Moves in a Mysterious Way. God moves in a mysterious way his wonders to perform. He plants his footsteps in the sea and rides upon the storm. Ye fearful saints, fresh courage take the clouds ye so much dread. Uh, he treasure uh, are big with mercy and shall break in blessings on your head. Ye uh, judge not the Lord by feeble sense, but trust him for his grace. Behind a frowning providence, he hides a smiling face. Blind unbelief is sure to err and scan his work in vain. God is his own interpreter, and he will make it plain. That was number 128, God moves in a mysterious way. And now we're in our Bible reading. We're just reading our way through 2 Corinthians. And right now we're at 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 12 through 22. For our boast is this, the testimony of our conscience, that we behaved in the world with simplicity and godly sincerity, not by earthly wisdom, but by the grace of God and supremely so toward you. For we are not writing to you anything other than what you read and understand, and I hope you will fully understand, just as you did partially understand us, that on the day of our Lord Jesus, you will boast of us as we will boast of you. Because I was sure of this, I wanted to come to you first so that you might have a second experience of grace. I wanted to visit you on my way to Macedonia and to come back to you from Macedonia and have you send me on my It is always yes, for all the promises of God find their yes in him. That to God for his glory. And it is God who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us and who has also put his seal on us and given us his spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. So that was 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 12 through 22. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you that in Christ Jesus, all of your promises are yes and amen. We are grateful, Lord, that you are the one who establishes us um, in Christ, and you have anointed us, and you've put your seal upon us, and given us your spirit in our hearts as a guarantee of the good things to come. We rejoice in that, Lord. We pray for uh, those who are having birthdays. We pray for Roberta and Drew and, and Michael. We ask you, Lord, that you would uh, pour out your goodness upon them, that this, that, uh, this would be a delightful day of remembering your goodness to them, and also, Lord, uh, a good day of celebration and rejoicing, and we pray for this coming year that you would watch over them and hold them in your hands, and uh, you would continue to care for them. We pray for our friend, uh, our friends, uh, Moose and Lisa's son, Michael. We ask you to be with him and uh, grant him to fully recover whatever is going on there. We ask you to uh, grant him to bounce back speedily. We pray for uh, Major Michael Keifman of the U.S. Army, a, a chaplain in the U.S. Army at the uh, Combined Arms Sustainment Command in Fort Lee, Virginia. We ask you to watch over him as he is the pastoral coordinator for the Fort Lee Army Garrison. Um, help him, Lord, that uh, as he uh, guides and leads the traditional Protestant service, uh, that he uh, would have great opportunities to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to many people and be able to work with them and show them who Jesus is. We pray, Lord God, for uh, young Freddie in Guatemala. We ask that you would give uh, wisdom in, to the doctors and uh, that would allow Freddie to completely become healed from his heart condition mm -hmm. and that you would sustain him and lift him up. 
Lord, we pray for the disturbing situation on the Ukraine border with Russia as they continue to build up their troops, potentially soon up to 120,000 troops on the border. That is uh, alarming. And so we pray that you would prevail there and you would prevent uh, that from turning into something really messy. And we pray for Cape Town, South Africa right now as Table Mountain uh, has this huge forest fire going on that has forced people to flee and run and has destroyed so many uh, historical markers and uh, places and, and property and, and uh, livelihoods. Lord, we pray that you would be with the firefighters and help them keep them safe and help them to be able to bring that under control. Father, we thank you and ask that your blessing would be upon all of us. We ask for your blessing upon uh, the women's ministry. Uh, here that you would uh, continue to both bless their fellowship and to use uh, their work to build your kingdom. Uh, we pray for our friends, Brian, uh, and kids, uh, Norma, uh, and ask that you would show your goodness to them. You do through RUF. I ask that you would continue to use Scott and Helen and use RUF to bring students to Christ and equip them to serve the church. And that. And Lord, we pray for. Uh, Cor this would prevail um, for the best uh, for all of us, Lord. We ask you that uh, you'd be with the jury as they deliberate right now. Having been on the jury myself, I know that it can be draining and stressful. And I pray that you would guide them, help them to be very perceptive and thoughtful. And um, Lord, help us to remember and never forget that guilt is only declared when, uh, there is, when it's beyond reasonable doubt. And so, Lord, may all be sensible and sober-minded as uh, the, these decisions come about. We pray for our country. We ask you, Lord God, that you would come and you would bring, restore some sense of uh, peace and tranquility. We pray, Lord, for our relationships with one another, that instead of being divided and hostile, there would be greater and greater civility and uh, neighborliness. And we pray that you would smile upon our country, Lord. All these prayers we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that, friends, is morning prayer on this day, this Tuesday, the, um, the 20th of April. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow for more. Until then, peace be to the brothers and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all who love our Lord Jesus with love incorruptible. Bye now.